So Maryland's kind of a unique state, right? It's got a funny little shape. It's got kind of a unique culture. And that's why today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the top 10 things to know before moving to Maryland. Hi, my name is Malcolm Lawson. I'm a Maryland real estate agent, and let's just jump right into it. So the number one thing to know before moving to Maryland is that in Maryland, we love our flag. And why not? It looks awesome. Hands down, we have one of the coolest flags in all of the 50 states. And in Maryland, we love to show our pride in our flag. We have it on everything from clothes to hats to our cars to tattoos to even our cornhole boards. So number two on the list is that in Maryland, we love our crabs. Maryland is obviously known for our blue crabs that come out of the Chesapeake Bay, and they play a pretty big role in our economy as well as our culture. And we love eating these little suckers. Everything from crab dip to crab pretzels to crab soup, crab bisque, crab pizza, boiled crab, steamed crab, uh, fried crab, hard shell crab, soft shell crab, crab salad, anything you can stick crab in, we stick crab in it and we eat it. So Maryland is also the home of the iconic Chesapeake Bay Bridge. Many people have actually called this the scariest bridge in America. Personally, yeah, it doesn't bother me. Now something to point out to newcomers in Maryland, on Friday nights during the summer months, there's a mass exodus of tourists out of Baltimore and out of DC who are taking Route 50 out to Ocean City. And unfortunately, there's a bit of a bottleneck right there at the Bay Bridge. So us locals, we know to expect to see massive backups on Route 50 right before the Bay Bridge on Friday nights during the summer months. And we kind of plan our Fridays accordingly. It stinks, but you get used to it. So number four is that in Maryland, we love our Natty Bo beer. So Natty Bo beer was actually established in Baltimore, Maryland in 1885. And today, 90% of Natty Bo's sales are in Baltimore, Maryland. Fun fact, this little guy's name is actually Mr. Bo. Number five, here in Maryland, we have a very strong military community and a lot of pride in our military. So Annapolis, Maryland is obviously the home of the United States Naval Academy and the sailors' iconic white uniforms are really ingrained in the downtown Annapolis culture. But in Maryland, we have many more military installations other than just the Naval Academy. Fort Meade, for example, has over 16,000 service members stationed there. Andrews Air Force Base is another large base that we have here, and they're home to the Air Force One. We also have Camp David, as well as many more smaller military installations scattered throughout the state. Quite a large portion of Maryland's population is actually made up of service members and veterans, including myself. Before we get to the final five, I have a quick question for you. So just a reminder, I am a Maryland real estate agent. This is how I provide for my family and how I can afford to make these great videos. So I want you to ask yourself, who do you know that is interested in buying or selling a home here in the state of Maryland that I can help out? All right, I want you to think about it. And before this video is over, I want you to do one of two things. Either send that person this video or send that person my contact information, which I'll have right down here. All right, let's get back to it. In Maryland, we love our Old Bay and we put it on everything from corn to chips to popcorn to macaroni and cheese to pizza and yes, even ice cream. Number seven, Baltimore, Maryland is the home to the world famous John Hopkins Hospital. This hospital is ranked by the US News and World Report as the number one hospital in the United States for 21 straight years. Established in 1889, it is the founding institution of modern American medicine and the birthplace of many medical traditions adopted worldwide. So in Maryland, we sort of have more than one football team. So obviously the majority of Maryland's love their Baltimore Ravens and they show a lot of pride in the Ravens. However, you'll notice as you move closer and closer to Washington DC, you start seeing less and less purple and more and more yellow and red supporting the Washington Redskins. Fun fact, the Baltimore Ravens were actually named after Edgar Allan Poe's poem, the Raven. Maryland is home to many beautiful and unique national parks. From the beautiful beaches in Assateague Island where there are literally wild horses roaming free, to the mountains in Harper's Ferry where you can go and hike the Appalachian Trail, there is a wide, wide variety of national parks available here in Maryland. Number 10, Maryland has a very rich and colorful history. Being one of the original 13 colonies, Maryland actually has two major cities that were once our nation's capital. That's Baltimore and Annapolis. From Dr. Mudd's house in Southern Maryland where John Wilkes Booth fled after assassinating Abraham Lincoln, to Edgar Allan Poe's house and burial site in Baltimore. Maryland is the perfect destination for any history buff. Thank you, and if there's anything you guys think I left out that somebody should know before moving to Maryland, please leave it down in the comments section below this video. Once again, I am a real estate agent here in Maryland with Keller Williams Select Realtors, and if you or anyone you know is interested in buying or selling a home, I'd be more than happy to talk to you about that. Please feel free to reach out to me at any time.